it's melinda with miss linda's kitchen i'm back again with a quick video i'm going to show you guys how i make kool-aid pickles y'all know i don't talk a lot i just go jump straight into the videos i have a um, jar of um 128 full ounces which is one gallon of pickles i have two cups of sugar and a pot and a saucepan and i'm this gonna be a real quick video you guys um this is a very very um my kids love pickle Kool-Aid, and that's what I'm doing. I'm doing uh, Kool-Aid pickles for you guys today. What I like to do is I like to pour some of the um, the liquid out of the jar before I actually pour it into my pot. So, here we go. Okay. And then I pour about that much off. So, I would say about maybe a cup and a half to two cups of liquid off. And then I pour the rest of it. I almost fill it up in this saucepan. I think it's a four quart saucepan. And then I pour the remaining in the, the bowl where I'll be adding my pickles. And again, guys, this is a gallon of pickles. I pour two cups off, two cups of the fluid, of the liquid off. I have two cups of sugar, granulated white sugar, and a four quart saucepan. And I poured, poured, just enough liquid to almost fill the pot. What we're gonna do, and I have three packs of Kool-Aid. You can use any flavors you like. And you're gonna just pour it into the um, into the mixture, the sugar mixture. What we're gonna what we're gonna do? I do mine like this. I don't know. Uh, this is the way I do mine. Um, you guys can do it however you want. This is just how I do mine. And I do mine like this because it makes it easier um, for the sugar to dissolve. So again, I have two cups of sugar. I have three packs of Kool-Aid. And I have um, a quarter as it filled halfway. It's almost full, but not quite. So... I have my stove on medium. It doesn't take long for this to um, to um, for the sugar to melt down. And I do that. I do it that way because it help, it makes it easier for the sugar to dissolve versus putting the sugar straight into the jar, and it will take forever for it to dissolve. So what I do is I take my pickles out along with my cutting board. It's it's easier to cut on a cutting board, and I'm line my knife up in the middle and I cut down and I make halves. This is a favorite of my children. Um, I also have little kids to come by and that will purchase them. So I believe I started what made me start to sell them um, was the fact that um, I gave some little children some with, along with my kids. They came with my son, rather. They came with my son one day and I gave them some and they kept coming back for more. So <laughs> I decided, hmm, be a good way to profit. And so it was it stopped being the kids to come and the adults started coming. So, <laughs> this is a good way to make you some extra money. If you haven't subscribed to my video, please do. Please share my videos with your family and your friends. Okay, and you can turn the, the sugar mixture off, the Kool-Aid mixture off, because it's pretty, once you feel that all the sugar is dissolved, it's pretty much ready because you don't want it to get too hot you really don't want it to get too hot because if it gets too hot then um, and you, you don't want to shatter your glass you don't want to try to put hot um, liquid in your glass so yeah we're gonna dump the rest of those in that bowl and we're gonna start loading these in the pickle jar Guys, I promise you, this will be a family favorite for your niece and your nephews to come over. 
and even you guys, you guys, um, I found that this this recipe is really, really good for anybody. Everybody, all ages likes this um, this recipe. Now you can make the Kool-Aid, the pickles as sweet as you like, or as um, as you know, as not you know, not sweet. Me personally, I like them to be a mix between sweet and sour. And so, I will deal, will deal, I'd say. But this is a really, really good recipe. Um, and as I say, you can add more sugar or less sugar. I've added two cups because I don't really need the sugar anyway, and it would only help the kids up. <laughs> so, it would only amp them up. So what I do is I fill the pickles halfway. Yeah, a little more. And I would take my measuring cup and just pour it in. And I would try to fill the Kool-Aid, the pickles with the Kool-Aid mixture. And I add more as I go along. I promise you the kids are going to love it. They are going to love it. Yes, you can add as much. <laughs> My countertop is clean, guys, but I'm going to rinse it. But my work surface is clean already. And so, you know what? Because I still have pickles back here. Well, they'll fit anyway, because they always do. And this is a, a good way, guys, to... Um, This is a Kool Aid pickle because, especially with this little this heat method, because the sugar will be dissolved once you put heat to it, and you just stir until the, the sugar is dissolved, and then you just pour it into your your um. See, once you get the sugar that the mixture down enough, and you'll probably still have sugar at the bottom of your pan. It won't be much, but you can just pour that on in there, and over time it'll dissolve. It'll dissolve, and it doesn't really take long for the cool the pickles. It'll take about 24 hours to 48 hours, I would say, for them to become. Um, but I think this way, it doesn't take long. Usually, 24 hours um, is good enough time. But I promise you, everybody will love it. Add as much sugar as you like. This recipe calls for two cups of sugar, three packs of Kool-Aid, and I just put it in a saucepan to heat it up just to get the um, sugar to melt. And and you have Kool-Aid pickles. It doesn't take very long. See that sugar down in the bottom, guys, that I was talking about? You just take that pan, that saucepan, and kind of swirl it around in there. And then you just pour it right on in there. You just continue to do it until all this sugar, because once you pour it, it could be just a little bit. It, it'll always be just a little bit just and settled in the bottom of the pot. And you just stir it around and just pour the rest of it on in. And if it's not filled enough, remember that pickle juice we reserved. Just pour a little bit in the pot. Swirl it around to get all the extra granulated sugar out. Just pour it right on top. We want to cover the pickles, so we always want to cover the pickles. That's why I tell you to reserve. You can pour about two cups off the pickles when you first open them up, and then you just reserve a little bit of that um, pickle juice to co cover the top of the pickles. I see my pickles are covered, and that's really what you want to do. Always reserve some for later because you always want to reserve some for later, and then. We top the pickles up, get a wiping cloth, 
can just wipe your and pick them down. You see that, guys? This. You can twist it. And then what you do is you can make, make, make sure, make sure that your top is really tight. Because if you don't, it will spill. And I like to turn mine upside down. And just let them sit for a few hours. And just set them to the side. And there you have it, guys. We have um, Kool-Aid pickles. I promise you, all the adults in your family, the kids will love it. This is a versatile treat, guys. So thank you for watching Miss Lily's Kitchen. I'll be back with some more videos. Um, again, this is Kool-Aid pickles, guys. Thank you for watching. Please comment, subscribe, like, and share with your friends. God bless you. God bless you. And you all have a great day and night.